humans, Artist with the Fro here, and welcome back to the show. We have a cool unboxing that we're going to kind of like jump into, as well as an update on the giveaway video. So um, if you're just here for the giveaway information, you can skip to the timestamp, which will be uh, posted in the video right now. Um, aside from that, this again is kind of like an, one of our little like special sealed only episodes. We are still looking for a lot more content or a lot more cards that we can add to our Ancient Warrior deck. Um, and there are some cards in here that we definitely need to pull out. So we're going to try to see if we can get, or we're going to try to see if we can manage to get the cards that we're looking for. Mainly our Tensus, but I wouldn't mind getting a Rarity Bump for Tenki as well. Uh, again, as always, thank you again for all of the subscribers, all of, all of the support that you guys have shown this channel. Um, not only the motivation, but we've actually already hit our February goals, and so now we're trying to actually uh, get to another type of like March goal of 250 subscribers by the end of this month. So we're looking at the small victories, but we are making a lot of traction. Um, and again, I really just want to thank you guys for that. Again, if you're here for the giveaway as well, the updates for that will be in the stamp in the timestamps below as well as the timestamp in the video. So just make sure you're looking around for that. But without further ado, let's jump into the actual box. First, we gotta make sure we get a tool or something to open this up. And while we are opening this up, my question for you guys today, or you humans today, is what was your first, what was the first deck that you ever built? Right? You think about it like this, this is going, the Ancient Warriors are the last deck that I'm building uh, for my competitive uh, scene, I would say. So what was the first deck that some of you guys started out with? I'd love to hear from many of you. I'm kind of like thinking about doing a little bit of a small-ish project um, that entails like the journeys of a YouTuber, or not a YouTuber, but a Yugi, a Yu-Gi-Oh player and like what they started off with. So. Um, but that aside, Fist of the Gadgets, 5 cards per pack. There are 24 packs inside of here. This is a relatively cheap pack. It uh, costs about 40 bucks, 40 to 45 dollars. Um, so I would recommend it if you are looking for any gadget, Fire Fist, or Archfiend stuff with some spell. But we do have a total of 24 packs. That's 12 packs on each side. And we're going to start off first with the right side first. Now, the cool part about Fist of the Gadgets is that every card inside of here is actually, I believe, going to be a super. So we can put, or rare, I think. So we can put all of these in the Gold Sark giveaway binder. So this is gonna really be an upgrade for that uh, specific binder in instead of the common binder that we would have. So let's just open it up. See what we get with the first one. We have an insect card, which is Draco Knight, the true, the true Draco Slayer, our Morphage Lechery. Talkback Lancer, which we can definitely add, Firefish Yoko, and Archfiend's Call. So far only one Firefish card, none of the other cards we're really going to need. Again, all of these cards are going to go straight into the Gold Sark uh, giveaway box. There's going to be two giveaways that we're doing. The first one is for all of the common cards, the second one is for the rare, super, ultra, etc. cards. So we have a green gadget, we have a silver gadget, we have a Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Spirit, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Cardinal, an, an X seed that we might be able to use, and Fire Fortress atop Liang Peak. This is a secret rare. Interesting. There's also some cards that we are going to add to the binder. I will put that in there. Um, but most of these cards will actually be going into the, uh, again, the tin. I also had to buy, or rather manage, to get some silica gel tins which I'm gonna kind of talk about even though we did we we got the card that we were looking for we needed one of these we actually need another one but let me just pause really quickly so one thing that you guys are really gonna notice or rather one thing that let's see if I can explain how this works on these type of cards so as you can see the way that Yu-Gi-Oh has been printing their cards recently they tend to do this thing called tacoing and what this really is is that this is an app this is an adverse effect with most of the new cards, this happened kind of like towards the end of the uh, 2010s, is that your cards started to do this like looping thing, and what this means is that there's actually a lot of humidity in the room that's causing your card to bend up like this, so it's bending on itself. It's kind of like a wood warping thing. Uh, the more wood gets wet and dry, it tends to like warp closer and tighter together. So the way that you get rid of this type of effect 
is by buying those little like silica gels. Obviously, if you have a dry room or if you live in a dry space, your cards aren't really going to do this. But if you live more like in a tropical area or in a place where it regularly rains a lot, where humidity goes up and down, um, you kind of going to want to get some alternatives. So of course, you can like vacuum seal or make sure that these that your cards are in like a dry sealed area. If they are left out, then they will start to bend. Um, but one of the things that I've found uh, that tends to work really good for keeping them flat is uh, purchasing the uh, purchasing the silica, the little silica gel packs that you've probably seen if you've ever gone to like any clothing store. They're like coming like these little small gray uh, packs and they have like those little beads in them. Those actually draw up the humidity and they prevent uh, anything from warping. They also prevent, they also keep your shoes or your clothes uh, dry if you live in a relatively wet area. So, Fire Formation Tensu, one of the cards that we needed that's going straight in the deck. Uh, Fire Fist Gorilla, we might actually put him in just because we do need a little bit more attack support for now. Uh, ooh, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Tiger King, another card that's going straight into the extra deck. That's one of the cards that we were actually looking for. I'm sorry, I'm like showing, going through the cards backwards. Uh, Scrap Recycler, well actually I'll put him over here. Scrap Recycler to the collection and boot up Admiral Destroyer Dynamo. Very interesting. It seems that each of them has a secret rare at the end of them, so that's pretty cool. Unless I just pulled the two secret rares at the <laughs> at the start. I feel like Fire Formation Yoko nobody really uses, so we might as well just put that in the in the spot over here as well with the giveaway collection. Hey, Rast Raster Liger. This card actually looks really cool. I don't know. I might I might run this. This might actually we might uh we might incorporate this card into uh, into the rest of our play. So we have Raster Liger, a Link 3. I haven't read its effect at all. Uh, for our formation, Yoko. Boot up. Ooh, there's, a, there's kind of like a glare. Boot up gear change for gear charge. Prohibit Snake. And Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Eagle. This card looks pretty cool. Two Beast Warrior cards. Hey! We might be able to summon this. I'll look into that. I've heard that Prohibit Snake is actually a pretty good card but I would not know what it does, so I guess we'll hold on to that. That'll go in the binder as well, as well as the secret rares. Um, and out of these cards, I don't know if I'm putting anything else in there. I think all of these are gonna go into the giveaway box. <laughs> the binder will also have giveaway stuff in it. I just wanted to make sure that that was clear, um, so that way you guys aren't looking like, oh, what, what if I wanted this or something? Um, Signet Optimization. L Phase. Boot up order, gear charge, power hold the moving battery, and Archfiend's Ascent. Next up we have Swap Cleric. Move the cards back that way you guys can see them. Defcon Bird. Subterror Final Battle. I forgot there were Subterror cards in here. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear. I've heard that this is a pretty good card. And Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Ram. I'm gonna have to read all of these Fire Fist cards just to double check and see if we can use any of them in the Ancient Warrior deck. Next up, we have Red Gadget. Brotherhood, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Rooster. I've heard that this is another good card too. Defcon Bird. Going in the giveaway pile. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Spirit, Archfiend's Manifestation, and another Red Gadget. Didn't the thing start with Red Gadget? Wait a sec. Oh, I must be bugging out. I could have swore the pile started with Red Gadget and it ended with Red Gadget. Or maybe we've just pulled too many gadgets for now. Let's see. Armorphage Sloth, Subterra Fiendus. I've heard that this is a pretty good card. That's probably going in the binder. Shooting Code Talker, that's gonna go into the binder as well. As well as regular Code Talker, which is gonna go into the binder. And our rarity bump for 10 key. Look at that. Look at that secret rare 10 key. Oh my gosh, oh, that so sexy. Wait. Oh, that new card smell, bro. Oh, that smells so good. That smells so good. Code Talker we might actually be able to play. I'm not so sure. Oh, wait a sec. Ooh, I almost grabbed the wrong pack. I was about to start opening from the wrong pile. So far, so good. This is a really good set for the cards that we needed. And I actually wouldn't mind buying another one of these just to get the second Tenzu if we don't pull it. 
Yellow Gadget, Gold Gadget, Swap Cleric, Amorphage Goliath, and Boot Up Order Gear Force. Gear Second, Gear Third, Gear Force, Bound Man. <laughs> any One Piece fans in here? Aside from that, any uh, any One Piece fans? Let's see. Oh, okay, Amorphage Goliath. We have Majesty Maiden, another insect card. Latency, this card looks pretty cool. Uh, Dino Might, another insect card, and Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Swan. It's interesting that the Fire Fist cards also kind of look like Ancient Warrior cards. I feel as if that there was some sort of redundancy there, where they could have made the cards a lot more interesting had they stuck with one engine, or rather one uh, theme. I get the Ancient Warrior thing. I just feel as if they could have. There, there's a lot more uh, to be desired left, or left to be desired with the Ancient Warrior um, concept. There are a lot of cards that are missing, which we've talked about in the unsealed only episodes where we made our own custom cards. Going back to the cards, we have Chronograph Sorcerer, Cynet Conflict, Talkback Lancer, Shooting Code Talker. So since that's like the second one, right? I can put one of these Talkback Lancers in the binder, and I'll put one, and I can put the other set of cards into the. Uh, into the thing and fire formation ingen this is the ritual card i believe so pretty good a lot of cards we're not really going to use <laughs> i think the secret rares i should put in the binder but again it goes back to the thing where it's like you know some of these cards are more specific and if if you're not running fire fist or fire formation then it's like there's really no point in me putting them in the binder i'm not gonna it's not like i'm really trading anything off but the binder I have as special giveaways for um, for people that follow on Twitch whenever we do any of our Twitch streams. A Morphage Lecheracy, Talkback Lancer. Also, if you guys see a card that you would want to rather go into the Twitch giveaway, the way that, that works is basically I just duel people on Dueling Nexus, and then whoever beats me gets a card that of their choice out of the binder. And those cards range in different prices, so you could get a... Uh, uh, AI or I land, um, which is worth like $20, or you could get something else. It's up to you, really, at that point. Talk back, Lancer. Fire Formation Yoko. Our second Tensu, so that's kind of it. We basically got our money's worth. And another Ram. That completed our first 12 packs, and those, these cards here are going to go into the Cold Start giveaway. Let's start off with the second set. Cards that are over here are going to go into the Binder. Uh, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Gorilla, another Tiger King, so we don't necessarily need two of them. So I'll put this one in the binder. Uh, Mystical Beast Master Cerberus, I've heard that this is a pretty good card. I think that might be a re uh, printing error there. I don't know what's happening over there. We have Power Hold, the Moving Battery, and Fire Formation Ingen. All, uh, all giveaway stuff. Cerberus will put in the binder just because I feel like Cerberus might be a more desired card. I think there is a... Wow. <laughs> I was about to say, I think there is a card that people are looking for. But uh, the third Tensu, so now we have a playset. <laughs> That's definitely going to be good. Starting Venom Fusion Dragon, another good card for uh, for Super Poly, so that's actually going to go into the side deck. Yellow Gadget, Fire Fist Gorilla, and Fire Fist Spawn. All three of these are going to go straight into the giveaway box. And again, if you wish to skip ahead to where we actually talk about the giveaway, you're more than welcome to. Chronograph Sorcerer, Fire Fist Bear, which I think we might run, Subterra Fiendus, which is going in the binder. Uh, ooh, Archfiend's Manifestation, and Elphase are our two other cards. So Elphase, I think we already have one in there. We'll put the other one in the binder. And Manifestation, it looks like a cool secret rare, but it requires some of the skull, so I don't think that, like, you know, unless... Unless there's somebody watching this, it's like, oh damn it! I wish this damn thing went in the in the binder giveaway set. Like, <laughs> if there's someone really wanting like these Archfiend cards, then like, please let me know. <laughs> Tiger King. This is the third Tiger King that we've had. So we have one in here. We have one in our deck. So the third one is going straight in there. Mythical Beast Master Cerberus. We have one in the binder giveaway. So this card's going straight in the box giveaway. Power Hold, Moving Battery, Green Gadget, and Ingen. I feel like I should hold on to one of these Ingen cards, um, just in case. I'm going to move that over. That might be in the side deck really quickly. Um, just in case, because you never know. We might actually end up running like a sub 
fire fist or fire formation uh, deck with our ancient warriors. I also feel like I should be opening up these packs backwards, so that way you guys don't see what cards I'm pulling first, but it depends. There are, people are very specific about how they open up their packs, but this is that warping that I'm talking about again. Anyway, let's flip over it and see what we got. Oh, an insect card, ew. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, no, that's not going in the binder. Talk back, Lancer. We already have enough of these. Prohibit Snake is going to go over here, as well as Latency. And Boot Up Gear Force is going to go straight into the uh, collection. Let's see what else we get. I, I feel like we, we've already won. We've gotten all the stuff that we needed. I only needed two Tensus. I ended up with three. Um, all of these extra cards are really just going to help us out. Cardinal, um, I think I put one on the side, so we'll, we'll put one, I have to double check, did I put a Cardinal in here? Sure, Cardinal, already. The Tiger King, and there's a Raster Liger, so I know that that second Raster Liger is going in there, so Cardinal I'll put over here. Raster Liger, we'll, we will add to the, uh, to the binder. We have Fire Formation Yoko, which is going in that collection, do the gear change, and Fire Fortress atop Beyond the Peak. Again, what was the deck that you started off with? What was your first deck? For me, I think it was Starter Deck Yugi, the one with the Dark Magician on the front of it. But I've made a multitude of decks before, or rather, not before. <laughs> There's no way. I've made a multitude of decks after that. I can't even remember all of them. Signet Conflict into here. Code Talker. I think we might already have one in the uh, in the giveaway thing, right? Yeah, I have one in the giveaway. I have one in the binder, so this one's going to go in the giveaway box. Boot up. Uh, Corporal Command Dynamo, that's gonna go right in here. Uh, it looks like we have a Silver Gadget and Archfiend's Ascent. All of these cards go into the giveaway box. So that means that one person is gonna get all of these cards. One person is gonna get all of these. Another person is gonna get like one card each from here. I feel like I'm gonna look this up. I really am because I think Prohibit Snake is something that we want to keep in here in the binder collection. Um, but I'm, I need to double check this really quickly because how many Prohibit Snakes are in here? There's one. There's two. So I have two in here already. I feel like that's fair enough. We'll put the third one in. The, the gold sark uh, thing. I'm gonna put a defcon bird in the binder and I'm gonna put swap cleric over here. Defcon bird will go in the binder. Subterra final battle will go over here and fire formation dome. This is another ritual card, but I don't think I even pulled, I don't think I pulled a single ritual monster. There's like <laughs> four packs left. I don't think we pulled a single ritual and I don't, I feel like we were also looking for peacock. But I don't know if we're going to get Peacock as well. Signet Optimization. Now I think we have... I'm going to have to go back in the collection again. I think we have one of them in the... No, there isn't one in the binder. So I'll put one in the binder. Uh, Fire Fizz Rooster, which I've heard is a good card. That's going to go in the binder. We have... Oh, look at that. There she is. Okay, let's not get there. Chronograph uh, Sorcerer. Red Gadget. And Brotherhood of the Fire Fist. Peacock. Now, what does this card do? And this card points to a Fire Fist monster. Mm, look at that. She's looking. Mm, she's looking real fine. Mm, let me. Mm, that card smell. <laughs> what does she say? So this card says, uh, when when this card points to a Fire Fist card, your opponent monsters cannot attack. Cannot target this card for an attack. When this card declares an attack, you can send one Fire Formation spell or trap card you control to the graveyard. Then target one monster your opponent controls. Place that monster in the zone this card points to and take control of it until the end phase, but it cannot declare an attack. You can only use... Oh, interesting. This is, an, this is a very interesting card. She requires two Fire Fist cards, though. Hmm, so that's, that's a bit much. It's not really going to work in the Ancient Warrior set, but it'll work for some other folks. I think Eagle was that other card that people were looking at. I have no idea. I think we need to just review all of these other cards real quick. Uh, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear. I think we're going to put him into the deck, side deck. Amorphage Sloth, Subterra Fiendish, we already have one in the binder, so we'll put the other one in the big collection. Shooting Code Talker, I think we already have one. I, I need to keep double checking this collection here. Is shooting Code Talker in here already? Um, L phase, Code, yep, Shooting Code Talker's in here. So this one's going into the big collection, and Fire Formation Sinto is going in there. Let's see. 
The reason why I'm giving away the cards is, as I mentioned before, I'm not keeping anything at the end of this journey. I really don't want to have a stockpile of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I know I'm not going to use, so I'd much rather be have them be in the hands of a duelist that they could actually use. And how cool would that be if I actually end up dueling somebody who's like, bro, I got all the cards you gave me. Like, that would be awesome. I, f I, would, I would be more happy at that than anything else. Gold Gadget, our fourth Tensu, so that's going in there. Starving Venom Fusion Dragon is the second one, so he's going to go over here. Uh, we have a Yellow Gadget, and we have the Ritual card, which is Archfiend's Awakening. I'm going to put that into the Binder giveaway. And last but not least, our last pack. Code Talker. I think we have enough of these. I'm kind of done looking at this dude. Although, he does have two effect monsters, so we might actually put him in the binder. A Morphage Goliath, oh, an insect card, <laughs> um, Latency, and Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Eland, Eland. It's a ritual card, interesting. So we'll put a ritual card over here, and we'll put Latency, we'll put Latency in the big pile. So that's pretty much going to finish up with our pulls. I want to double check and see what we have. These cards we might add, if not into the main deck, then into the side deck. We needed the Tensus, we needed everything else. We got Rooster, Eagle, I think was a card people were looking for. Wait a sec, let's read, let, let's read why people, I believe, were looking for Eagle. What does he say? He says, two Beast Warriors. You can only special summon one Eagle once per turn. You can activate Fire Fist Monsters effects without sending Fire Fist or Fire Fist Formation cards from your hand to the graveyard. Holy cow, you can target one fire formation spell or shop card you control or in your graveyard, return it to the hand, and summon fire fist monster from your deck to the graveyard. This card is actually pretty good. Oh my goodness, what is the price for my dude? Let me just take a little side side note here and check this out. I apologize that this video might seem like it's going for padding, but I really want to see how much fire formation eagle cost. That might be a good card. Let's see, how much is this boy going for? Eh, he's probably going for like $10. $11, uh, yeah, that's not bad. $11.39, I didn't expect anything more than that. But not, not a bad card at all. And two Beast Warriors, so we can definitely summon him. So he might be going into the deck. Um, now, we're gonna take a little bit of a pause. When we come back, we're gonna talk about the giveaway and what that really means. So thank you guys for watching this part of the video. 